Self. Very good, thank you very much. Uh, we're here in Hawaii in a very unique experience driving the new model from uh, your production line, right? Yeah, the 2017 uh, Tacoma TRD Pro. So, the Tacoma already is a very capable truck as it is as uh, the normal version of it. But tell us a little bit about it what uh, things make this even greater. Well, what we've done is added the high-speed element to our already very capable off-road package. And really what that means is that we've added a inch more track on the, the vehicle front and rear. We've added an inch more wheel travel on the vehicle. And we've incorporated uh, Fox shocks into this vehicle. So uh, our off-road package, we use a 1.5-inch uh, uh, Bilstein monotube shock. This one, we're using a 2.5-inch uh, Fox. Uh, yeah what we call positive sensitive dampening in the shock so it has uh, five compression zones and three rebound zones up front and seven compression zones and four rebound zones so we did the first test that we did this morning wasn't the racetrack i mean the dirt racetrack and you can not go really that fast but it's pretty bumpy but the ride it's pretty smooth and that's because of this what you were just yeah explained. so the, the spring packages in the shocks uh, what we're doing is it's as it low you go low speed it's a nice smooth ride uh, on road it's a nice smooth ride but as you get into that wheel travel as you get into that shock absorber the dampening is increasing so you don't have those sudden jars that yeah. are going to jar your stomach and your teeth up exactly obviously it's not like a super smooth uh, ride because the, the road is pretty bumpy but the actual vehicle uh, handles it perfectly I mean it's really comfortable almost I mean you would expect more more bumps inside the car. Yeah, and usually when we we adjust for off road, when you have off road, you have to give up something on there. Exactly. Or you have to give up some of your capability of the truck. And in our philosophy with our pro packages is that we can add the high speed element without giving up anything. And uh, you still end up with a little bit more body roll. Uh, but we increase the stabilizer just bar. because it's wider yep because it's wider and and because of the dampening is less yeah uh, so uh, in the slower speeds so uh, what we we ended up doing is we increase our front stabilizer bar and that stabilizer bar diameter by increasing it we help with the understeer and we help help with the body roll so you don't really notice it out there but uh, that's those are normal things you give up if you have a true off-road vehicle. They're horrible to drive on-road. Exactly. But we have to make sure that we have that on-road because a lot of people, this is their daily driver. And then again, with towing and payload, uh, most of our customers are, are using their vehicle to, to go and do something with. So we wanted to keep payload, and our payload is still 1,420 pounds. Yeah. And then uh, from towing, we, we couldn't quite keep it right at the 6,700 pounds that our normal truck's at. So uh, we ended up with 6,400 pounds, and we think it's more than it enough up. for most people, right? Yeah, our average customer is towing about 1,500 yeah. pounds. So that's the only thing that that you give up for everything else that yeah. you get, that you gain with this. What about the engine? The engine is the same. The engine's the same as uh, we had in 2016. That's our our new 3.5 liter V6, um, and that's running on the Atkinson cycle, and we still use the Atkinson cycle, which mainly kicks in uh, during high during highway driving. So uh, what ends up happening with the Atkins cycle, our VVT, yeah. our, our valve train allows us to hold that intake valve open a little bit longer. But when you need torque, and that's what you give up with Atkinson is a little bit of torque. When you need torque, we go back to an auto cycle, just like a normal engine. So you have full power. Yeah, and you really feel it. I mean, when, and that uh, truck, that their truck that we were driving this morning, it was a little straight out and you, you, you push it and it goes immediately. I mean, the torque is right there immediately. The crawl control feature in this uh, truck, it was already in the other version, but, uh, and I already experienced it, it's amazing, but I want you to a little, to explain it to our audience. How, how does it work? Because, yeah. I mean, my, let's say, very simple explanation is almost like intelligent cruise control for off-roading. Yeah, it, it's really like off-road cruise control. Uh, except for cruise control, you, you know, you're, you're needing to brake, but the vehicle's controlling the speed. With crawl control, what's happening is the vehicle is controlling the braking, is controlling speed, and really what it's doing is we have wheel sensors, speed sensors on each wheel, and it's at a very high rate of speed measuring any wheel slip. 
So if one wheel starts slipping, it'll apply the, the power to the other wheel. Okay. And it does it at such a high rate, no human can drive the same way. So if you get stuck, and, and just like you did on, on when we went down <laughs> the street. I did a little bit, yeah. Because you know, of my fault, not because no, of the No, the vehicle is, is stuck. Yeah. And what crawl control is doing, which you can't do driving, is it's taking power from the wheel that doesn't want to turn and putting it to the wheels that do want to turn, and it'll drive out of things. Uh, we had a demonstration where we stuck the truck up to the axles and sand, and you hit crawl control, and it'll actually dig itself out of the yeah, sand. Yeah, I remember that one. We were in Seattle, right? That's correct. The TRD um, division, has a lot of partners. So what other elements are there like, that are extra from that uh, TRD Pro program? Well, like I mentioned, the springs, the yeah. shocks, uh, you know, the wheel offset has changed uh, to give us more track. But really we have a quarter inch aluminum skid plate up front. That's uh, what we call your insurance policy. Yeah. Uh, we also changed the front approach angle is 36 degrees. Our off-road package is 32.5. Um, that makes us uh, best in class for approach angle. And, just what you're experiencing today, approach angle is very, very important. Um, Absolutely. Getting over some of these obstacles. Breakover has gone up to 26 degrees on the truck. And we've introduced, and you can hear it a little bit inside the cabin, but we've changed uh, to our TRD cat back exhaust. Uh, it's a little bit throatier in the sound, and it also has a little bit better flow for, for performance. Then on the outside, we have a hood scoop. We have the TRD Pro Grill uh, with a traditional uh, Toyota, our Toyota yeah. on the front and that really identifies our pro trucks is when you see that Toyota lettering out on the front of it and then one of my favorite parts of this is we teamed up with uh, rigid industries so rigid lighting is the number one off-road lighting and their optics capability is just phenomenal so uh, the goal was to light up as much as we could and stay within regulation of it for the truck and so we have vehicle regulations the government tells us how much light we can put out yeah. and this is why you don't see oems putting light bars on trucks <laughs> uh, but rigid has a, a split optics in their in their fog light and this led fog light the lower half meets the sae requirement it's okay. j583 so it's, legal. so it's legal and the upper portion shines down so it's not uh, in that regulation band but it lights up a, a tremendous amount of light in front. So if we look at our, our wide angle fog light that we, we offer, that puts out about uh, eight meters by 12 meters band. This new rigid light puts out uh, a 15, almost 16 meter by 20 meter band. And it just lights up the whole whole. And that area really helps when it's like in these conditions at night. Yes. That's a big, big help. One other thing that uh, caught my attention is that this is a pretty luxurious truck. I mean, yeah. for what we're doing, we're getting through mud, through water, to dirt, and then you have leather seats. We have leather seats, and the funny thing is, is uh, as as the chief engineer, I wouldn't have put leather exactly. in the truck. But uh, with our off-road package, one of the complaints we have is, um, if you're out mudding, we call it mudding, you're out playing in the mud and the dirt and the dust, your seat covers got dirty. Yeah. And customers are saying the the fabric is hard to clean, so. We looked at that and decided we're going to put leather in it because the leather is easy to clean. If you get you jump in and you're muddy, if you got out of the truck and jump back in and you're muddy, you just wipe the seats down. You're ready to go. And then uh, we put some contrasting stitching and the TRD logo on yeah, the headrest just to, to add a little touch to it. So now, finally, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, and you also have you know the floor mat. You have the TRD shifter that's in here. Yeah. And you can also get this truck in our manual trans, our six-speed manual transmission. I was going to ask you about the uh, uh, transmission because I mean obviously we're driving the automatic, but it's uh, some people still like the the manual in this kind of vehicle. Yeah, we have a lot. Our our, our hardcore off-roaders uh, really demand a manual transmission, and and then we have some other customers, especially on the East Coast, that love our manual transmission. Uh, when we introduced the truck, we uh, came out with a new six-speed gearbox. That gearbox, uh, we really focused on the shift quality itself. So, you know, the throw is shorter. You have, uh, basically, you know where center is on it. So you have yeah. positive engagement, positive disengagement of each gear. And it's really easy to understand what gear you're going into. Uh, I, I like to drive manual transmissions, and I'm, I'm a little particular about it. Yeah. And, uh, as uh, the design engineer is working on it, I really requested them, you should know, I, I want that feeling of a, a sports car in the truck. It doesn't need to be, you know, we're not a sports car, we're, we're a truck. It almost, but, I just feel. But you, you really want to have the same throw, you have the same needs yeah. if you're off-roading. 
that you do if you're going around a track. So, Absolutely. Uh, knowing what gear you're in, knowing what gear you're pulling in, and not having a lot, a lot of effort to find the gear or get into the gear was important to us. So this has been a great experience and uh, thank you, you and Toyota for having us here in Hawaii. And there's a reason that we're here. Obviously the terrain is fantastic and all that, but Tacoma is the number one vehicle in whole Hawaii. Yeah, number like one vehicle. Cars and truck, right? That is correct. And uh, this is uh, really a fun place to come because all you see around the islands is <laughs> Tacoma. <Tacomas. laughs> Excellent. So we're gonna go and experience the last part, uh, part of, the, of today's uh, uh, off-roading here in Hawaii, which is like a very, very steep uh, hill, and we're gonna actually try the crawl control system there, right? Yeah, and uh, the great thing about this is it's uh, really just volcanic rock and ash, and uh, the angles that you'll be going down in this is greater than what that material can stay together. So uh, it really comes down to relying on the crawl control and let the vehicle do its thing to come down here. So we're going to defy physics in this afternoon. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, thank you very much, Mike, for your time. And we're going to keep enjoying the experience here with the Tacoma TRD Pro in Maui in Hawaii.